Hey, what's up? It's your boy Charles. Yeah, I'm back at you again. Um, going and discussing on um, uh, these these concepts of you know, basically from where I came from. I came from a Christian background, and I wanted to really discuss these topics so we can really look at them. And you know, people should be able to have conversation about them. We shouldn't be closed behind the walls anymore. So the next topic, you know, I would like to talk about is Jesus. Now, how I would see this is Jesus is a higher self, our higher self, right? So I'm looking at it as if Jesus is our higher self, can we have to share the same capabilities of him? Now, you know, I'm saying there's a whole gap in Jesus's life that's gone, but we got to look at these things. Now, the reason why I say, are we Jesus? Yes, we have, we have those capabilities. A lot of people say, oh, you can't say you're Jesus. Well, let me explain. Okay. Let's use the example Michael Jackson. Let's let's think about what Jesus did. Jesus went around the world. Jesus started off as a child doing all his things, uh, his great works. He's healed the sick. He's risen the dead. Um, he's fed uh, people with just a limited to the amount, which is a very interesting thing. Let's think about it. If Jesus fed people with what I think is a, a two fish and a loaf of bread, he fed over tons and tons of people, right? Isn't that equivalent to uh, um, being a mother of seven children, having very small, a very small meal, but able to feed all your children? I know it's possible. You know, we've lived through that. You know what I'm saying? My mom and them had eight kids. And my mom, I think my mom had seven, eight brothers and one mom and mom was feeding, their mom was feeding all of them on the small portion that they have. They were poor at home. You know, they were, they weren't poor, but they were in the poverty stricken uh, 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 part of society. But their mother was able to come up with these creations from basically uh, something out of nothing. You know, and I'm looking at this and let's, you know, let's go back to Michael Jackson. You know, Michael Jackson, he's healed the sick. He's actually had a clinic for for kids who have um, ailments and his house. You know what I'm saying? He's created he's created it. He's known all over the world. He makes people faint. People talk about him to this day. They talk about him just like they talk about him just like Jesus. So why would we say that Michael Jackson isn't Jesus? Why can't we say that Jesus would never come back through the spirits of people? Think about Bob Marley, the same case. His music resonates all over the world. People will still cry. People will still believe in these high people will still believe in them. Think about Tupac Shakur. People still think he's alive. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, but the power that they have, it would be have to be God-like to be Christ-like. And I would look at it as higher self. You know, I really don't believe in a lot of this stuff, but if we're going to talk about it, I think you should look at it as, as your higher self. Think about the positive, the good you could do, the good that came out of the whole sense of Christ. He did all of these things, <laughs> and yet we still stay to this box concept of what Jesus is. No, he's an individual. He's separate. He's with God. He's da 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 You know, we don't look at him as being that he lives in us, which means that he would be us. Because we share those capabilities. Think about it. Do you think it's Christ-like if you go outside and give a homeless man a dollar who really needs it or help somebody fix their tire? That's Christ-like. That means it lives within you. But you also have your negative aspects as well, too. You, you have your devil side as well, too. You could be looking at people and judging them all day. You could be talking stuff about people. You could be doing things that you know is not, not beneficial to anybody. It's very, and, and they quote-unquote, sinful. So... Let's really look at this like, and, and think about it. I think the perfect example is only going to be Michael Jackson. Think about it, you know, omnipresence. You know, everybody knows Michael all over the world. You know, think about it. If you turn on the TV and Michael Jackson's on there and they put a pro broadcast on about, a doc, or a doc, you know, a documentary about Michael Jackson's life, that's not shown in one area. That's shown all over the world. That's shown everywhere. So isn't that close, similar to omnipresent? being everywhere, being at one place, but everywhere at the same time, you know, you know, I, just, I think it's very interesting. We need to look at these, we need to look at these characteristics because I would honestly say poverty stricken parents is the closest thing you're going to get to a Jesus Christ ever, a God and a Jesus Christ, because they have to take, they have to take nothing and turn it into something to feed their families, to feed their community, to do these positive things with the very little and very small things 
to make great big things. And has that happened? Yes, it's happened multiple times in society. There's so many examples of this. So why do we stay so shuttered into, you can't be Jesus, you can't be a God, you can't be this. Yes, you can because you share all that stuff. If you're going to look at God, God would be our body. It would be who we are. It would be all these higher capabilities. But Jesus would be our higher self. Our, 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 I'm sorry, our positive self, our the upright self, the righteous side of us. You get what I'm saying? But if we have those about us, we also have our negative devil side about us. But these are all characteristics that we have within ourselves. These are all characteristics that we have within ourselves. So if God created Jesus, God created the devil, then he created us and we can do good and bad. Kind of makes you think, right? <laughs> So, you know, man, like I said, you know, if you want to challenge this topic, I'm perfectly fine with it. I love talking about these topics, you know. Let's really understand and really go to the, go through with this. Let's say, last thing I want to say about it is, is just think about it, you know. Think about when you do something special, like you, you're, you're a musician, and, you know, you basically Michael Jackson again. They just let's just. I'm sorry, but he's, he's only going to be the perfect example of anything that's going to be closest to the concept of Jesus Christ. Jesus started off as a kid. Michael started off as a kid, okay, and he changed the world. Jesus, in in this aspect, changed the whole world. Michael, in the aspect, changed his whole changed the whole world. Michael sacrificed himself. Jesus sacrificed himself. Michael sacrificed himself. To what? To change the world, to change the position of the world. And we have this great this great music and this great stuff from this individual. And it'll go down for history and history and history, just like Jesus concept. Why? Because of the righteousness and the positive the positiveness or the, <laughs> the positive traits of Michael Jackson. So I mean, I just think that it's a very interesting topic. We should talk about it, we should have a conversation with it. You know, challenge me. If you don't believe me, cool. Say something. Let's build a conversation. Let's not keep this behind the walls anymore. So uh, thank you, man. Uh, my name is Charles Young. Uh, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. Share, comment, like. Do, do what you got to do. All right. With that, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I just going to say a lot of crazy shit.